Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we've got a multiplayer game uh, where I was uh, being besieged uh, versus somebody who's coming up on me. Here's uh, with me today is Troy. Hello, hello. Now this one may take a while because this guy spent a while uh, pounding the hell out of me. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, innuendo time. Let's see. Oh, there were some guys up here. Oh, okay, they're all running like little girls. I guess, yeah, I think at this particular point, I was like, okay, well, they have bigger artillery than me. I've only got these uh, wooden cannons, and I hadn't yet figured out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff, that's not saying a whole lot. Yeah, I know. Well, he's, his, his cannon is bigger than me. I'm, I'm, yeah, no guy wants to admit that another guy's cannon is bigger than him, but, you know, today, I, I, I had to admit it. And so I basically was going, okay, let's hide all my guys behind here. Because he had sharpshooters, he had big cannons and everything. So I was like, hide these guys back here. Hide the cavalry back here. Oh, but the cavalry is running around there for some reason. They're going to go take somebody on. But I had some more guys, oopsie, hiding back there, over there. So let's see what the cavalry is doing. Oh, I ran the cavalry down here. As you can see, he's basically moved all of his infantry up here. So he's what was your up. plan there? To come around the back side? Yeah, because you can see he got uh, artillery and cavalry right there. Oh, in fact, the cavalry is his guard. It's his guard. It's his, um, oh, no, not guard. It's his uh, general. He should be in here somewhere. Where would he be? There he is. And you can see my cavalry, yeah, is running way around here, behind. And he, question it, is, is he going to be prepared for that? Looks like he got his, uh, guard down, or his, uh, his, um, General over here, but it's his general's guard, so we're not. Oh, quite so he's strong. bringing in. He's he bringing, bringing in reinforcements because he just realized. Oh. Yeah, and he's bringing in uh, Kyoto police. Oh, so the police are coming. What is the police song? Oh, there we go. Then big charge. You don't have to bring out the. Now, military on. terms, uh, what they refer to this is is a uh, cluster. And uh, generally, it does not go well for the person being uh, on the receiving end of the cluster. <laughs> I, I, I like how you cleaned it up there, Troy. Well, I just realized mid sentence that we don't have a beeping machine, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's why I brought in the police, because they have those long spear things, and they were able to poke the, uh, the horses. Perfect, perfect uh, comeback to the mounted, uh, mounted cavalry. Yeah, and they pretty well destroyed them. Oh, man, there's not even a retreating army. They are just completely destroyed. Roxanne, you can go home now and kiss your butt goodbye. Your general is under attack. Meanwhile, their artillery, so their artillery is still safe. The, my cavalry did not come around and get them. Oh, although my um, wooden uh, artillery did kill some of their horses and some of the things, they basically missed the artillery pieces itself. That was basically what I did was I took the wooden uh, artillery and tried to take out his artillery because... That was my only chance of surviving, was taking out these, um, oh, Armstrong guns. Because now, basically, what he can do is just sit back and pound me and pound me and pound me. Yes, I know. Um, so I tried to take those out so I could bring my guys out, but I couldn't. So since they weren't destroyed, he now is covering his advance with all of his guys. The Bokachi. Bokachi. Oh, so he's going to bring up his Bokachi first and bring them up. Meanwhile, I got some guys up here to guard against them, but they're getting hit by those uh, Armstrong guns see what have we got here and I think that my wooden artillery is out of ammo already so they really pretty much can't do anything uh, red bear infantry is coming up here meanwhile here's I'll show you my own general guy here what I look like there we go I'm the old guy on the horse there that's me Urgh, you kids well, get that uh, explains a lot right there yeah he's going he's standing there right now going you kids get off my lawn <laughs> you're on my lawn get off of it, you <laughs> stupid little brat but they are running all over. Look at that. Just completely disrespecting him. He, you know, he had just mowed that thing. Put, put on some fertilizer. All that. Oh, and then here come the sharpshooters. There's the other thing. His sharpshooters are firing at them. And uh, the thing that sucks, they, I do have to admit, they look a little bit of That's really kick ass. But meanwhile... They have tracer bullets back then? No, I don't quite think so. Well, these guys apparently did. Now, you notice that my guys aren't quite shooting back. That's because they don't quite, they're not sharpshooters and they don't quite have, they're kind of out of range. They're just kind of targets. <laughs> they're like, let's stand up here and get killed. 
Yeah, I can die faster than you. Oh, oh, I'm bear hunting. Oh, that guy went through the wall. Man, he really died hard. So they're all getting slaughtered. Meanwhile, these guys up here are just like, okay, we're going to take you on, but we're going to get hit by the uh, artillery. Apparently at the time, there was no translation for the, uh, for the old adage, I'm the duck to cover. <laughs> Not exactly, no. I guess that came along with the nuclear age. So yeah, these guys finally got up here and were able to shoot down at those guys on the lawn. But now they're running for cover. I think that's what Mr. Schaefer would have liked to have when we were in grade school. Always telling us to get off his lawn. And now you didn't even have a single Gatling gun. Nope. In the uh, in the um, multiplayer game, uh, you're only allowed to have what you've you earned so far, and I really hadn't earned that much. And it's so I don't really like the siege games until you can buy whatever you want. Now, I notice that these these bowmen can sort of stand back here. And you know what else you haven't earned, Jeff? What's that? Respect. I respect. <laughs> uh, you're right. I have not earned any respect whatsoever. And they're getting hit by all those bows. Yeah, you're just going to see me get slaughtered here. I'm telling you who wins in the end, and it ain't me. I just got pounded and pounded and pounded. Hit me. Uh, oh my. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, of uh, what was that called for the general that was in charge of the fortifications uh, during the invasion of Rome? German oh, what did he say? Uh, I think he, his phrase was uh, something along the lines of, oh, crap. <laughs> Only in German. Oh, did you see that guy? <laughs> Damn, I wish I could watch that in slow motion again. <laughs> wow. All right, to, to channel my inner John Madden, bam! <laughs> bam. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, here are these guys coming out here to do some more bam. Or, or, or my ca new catchphrase, which is going to be coming up here. It'll have to be my catchphrase from now on. All right. Here we go. Are you ready for it? <laughs> I right. surrender. And here they go. It's... <laughs> <laughs> and here they're going to hit each other and... <laughs> oh, did you say I got kicking? There's a guy down at the bottom of the screen that was like... I am ninja! By the way, I'm sorry, Troy, that I spit all over you. Oh, my God. That guy stabbed him in the neck. What's that line from Bun? Come on, Burgundy. <laughs> Which one? Well, we're we're uh, um, I killed the man. After the fight of all of the oh the news anchors. No, you know what I thought I was thinking though was from the movie Action, where it's you just killed a man. You're a producer now. <laughs> You're a movie producer now. <laughs> Well, you know the uh, war is about over when we start changing the subjects to TV and film. <laughs> TV and movies, yes. I think, it, I think it's pretty well academic at this point who's going to win. <laughs> but look, i got more reinforcements coming in. We're going to push our way through, even though we're stuck on the, the stairs now. I think I actually sent somebody around. It is kind of cool. Look at these guys kicking each other. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like you guys are forfeiting there, Jeff. It's a bold tactic. <laughs> it is. Well, you know, I'm just making him overconfident. <laughs> we got him right where we want him. Overconfident. Yeah, exactly. Now bring him in. What? Well, what happened here? The guys finally all woke up from the barracks, or what? <laughs> That's pretty much it. They, I, I had them all hiding like little girls. Like and they were all in the shower, and they're all like, "What? What's that sound?" In oh yet. crap! We're under attack. Well, it is my fort after all. <laughs> oh my. Everybody's gonna have like completely the wrong idea of me when they watch this, but that's no, okay. not really. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now I got some guys. I was like, all right, send some guys around. Send them on a long trek around. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show them. <laughs> send word to General Sao. General Sao? I don't know. <laughs> I have generals named Sao. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, They're kind of lazy and That's fat. always what I order on the menu because it's the only thing I can pronounce. I, I was thinking of in general disarray and oh yeah great so they're they're loading their muskets which they can't use because they're over the side. Whoa arrows! The arrows killing the dead. Oh I like how they shot the dead again. And that guy's like, ow! I got an arrow in my head. <laughs> hey it's Steve Martin everybody. He's got the arrow in the head. Check it out. It's just a flesh wound. I'm gonna do my comedy routine. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got one in the leg too. Well, I don't know what they used for gel back then, but holy cow. <laughs> yeah, all these guys have some good hair. They're the bear infantry. Come on, in fact, right. I am rather surprised with with all of that hair.